Now let's design the connections page in LinkedIn that we see. I mean this page. We have button call connect and all. So we can design this. So we will have, we need to use this component class name called, I mean style called uh, connections component. So first of all, we need to make one border on the connection main, which is a parent element. So make this as 10 as gap and padding as 10 as well. Also, let me add margin as 30 pixels. 30, 30 px. Save when it will be here. Let me just temporarily. Okay, let me not this, this just make this as 200 or 250. Yes, I think that's fine. The height to be 200. Yes, now this looks fine. We also need to add an image here. So in this connected users, we can do that this component. So add one image. I mean, IMG tag here source, let's say user dot uh, image link. And let's design this. So in the grid child, we will have image. So width say 50 px, save them and here as well. So image is here, but let's make it 70. Okay, much better. Then height 70 as well. Okay, then border radius 60 50%. So make them rounded. Okay, then object fit cover. Okay, now it's fine looking fine. Now let's change the color. So I think let me give the class name here called name, and in here let's say. Head line. Now save them both. Come over here and here say dot name. And let me check the styling for all the items, which is the name. So I think font family should be system UI. System UI font size make 16 px. Uh, font weight. Say 600. Okay, I think that's fine. Now, in the second one, which is headline, let's also add some styling. So, say uh, margin top minus or say 0px, or I think you have to use minus minus 20 or 15. Yes, I think that's fine. Then we have to add this also. So copy this and paste. This should be 15 px and this should be 500 only. Okay, 500 or 400. Yes, 400 is fine. So the name and the headline with the image. So image is big. So make this as 80 then here also. Also might be 90 and here as well 90. Yes. Also, we have some margin on the top on the image, but we will not add margin top. Here, I will add display of flex, justify content center, align items center, then flex direction as column. Now they're perfectly looking cards. Now, let me change the color of the border. So, it should be BBBBBB. Yes, just copy this and add it here as well. Also, we have some background color on this grid child. So it's a background color. Let's say white smoke. Okay, it's not here. It's I think here. In this class. Yes. Now it's here. Okay. Now what we have to do, make the borders as curved. So border radius, say 10 px. And in the child also, great child. So we have this border radius. Okay. Now one thing, not, one thing to notice is we have button also, also here. So let me add a button. And this will be called as connect. So we have a button here called connect. Now let me come over to react icons. 
Okay, let me just install, I mean just style the button first. So after the image or say at the last, after headline, say button and width as 100%. Yes. And then let's say max, uh, not max, say height. Uh, height should be 40 px. Yes. But the thing is, the card will be have to a little bit bigger. So make this as to 50. Yes, it's now big. Also, let's add the button at the very bottom of the card. So position absolute. Then bottom as 10 pixels. So we're doing if we're doing this, we have to make the parent of this to be relative. So position as relative. Now it's here. Perfect. So make the uh, width to be 90 percent. Yes, it works. So if you're doing this, let me make the height to be, let's say 300. Okay, 300 pixels, not 3000. Yes, now it looks better. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the thing is, what if remove, I think, let me remove justify content center and simply add some margin called margin doc called 50px percent okay not here from the image margin top 50px now this looks better than before or does it so if you make this as 150 and here also it's bigger so we have to make this as 20 now this looks better than before so here make the cursor as pointer also now we have to style this so background color say white color as some this color so let me choose the color let me go over to what font and choose the color which is this color so add color here we also need border so make border 1px solid this color save it and this will be here okay so i think this should be not wait it's pure white what is this color then okay it's this should be white as well now they will blend in perfectly yes now let's design the font so font size say 18 px okay too much 16 yes i think that's fine then font family system ui okay then border radius 30 px to make it rounded like this also let me add margin top for the button so 20 px maybe not margin top set only top 20 px okay this breaks it then okay remove it so what is now what can we do yes we can do the heighting i mean make the height as the fd now it's perfect but if we make 30 yes that also fine okay now if we hover the button we will see this thing so let me close this if you hover we will see this highlight option so make it here as well so on the button we can say hover and when we hover we need to change two things only the border should be two pixels and this should be a little bit little bit bluer not white so let me come out to blue and just make it like this so it's not blue it's purple so let me copy this color instead and then we can slide the marker on the lighter version okay not this let me save this yes so let me slide this like here i think uh, which is the ideal light blue color i think this one no it's still too much so this Still, it's not better. So, what can we do? 
let me scroll this it will become darker save this and now let's try this okay it's also dark so let me search for or let me do this instead yes the color is okay no it will not work like that okay so say let me go to mydaddylivoy.com and search for colors hopefully we'll get some color that we can use here color okay, this is not color this is rating okay, this is color so we need light blue so let me try this color now let's check yes it looks better now also we have to do font weight as 600 here now it will be bolder okay that's done now let me add one icon here in the button so come over to react icons let me close this i mean okay let it leave it leave it let's search for add icon or add yes add icon so we can choose anyone let's say this icon we have to import it first so import this icon from react icons slash air now just add the icon before the connect save this let's see the output so we will have an add icon here let me make the width i would sorry not width size to be 30 okay 20 is fine yes now in the button we have to make display flex justify content center align items center to make all the items in the center and gap as 10 pixels as well okay it works i mean it looks perfect okay we can close this then we can do this so this function that we are having on the div should not be here they should be on this button so add it here now if you click a button we will add the connection so let's try for this add it and it will be here on the home page with its posts okay so that was how we used i mean yes how we designed the connections page here okay